A Wabash Valley monument is getting some much needed repairs. In the past few years, the National Park Service has put millions of dollars into improvements at the George Rogers Clark National Historic Park. But as News 10's Mike Grant explains, a recent problem has officials pushing for another big upgrade. Crews are still working to finish a long planned project to upgrade an old wall along the Wabash River at the George Rogers Clark National Historic Park. It's a project the park had already planned. But for the last several weeks, another project's been underway on an emergency basis to replace an electrical line that blew out here. That, that primary line controls everything. It powers all the street lamps here throughout the core part of the National Park, Patrick Henry Square, the, the uh, western part of downtown, as well as the lights over the bridge and the memorial. So the past four, four and a half weeks have been very dark. The emergency work that was just completed is only a small part of what really needs to be done to the electrical system here at the George Rogers Clark National Historic Park. And officials say that there are plans in the work for some big improvements. The, the goal is to have a funded project in the next three or four years that will remove all the electrical systems, the heating, ventilation, air conditioning systems, and put in a fully functional, modern, safe, uh, electrical system throughout. Right now officials don't have a cost or a contractor, but just like the other big projects here, it's expected to provide some impact on the local workforce. I think everything that occurs within a national park in some way has an effect on the local economy. And improving the power system here should be no exception. In Vincennes, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. Park officials say they hope to get the improvements completed before any more major problems pop up with the electrical system.